in Brazil, when feminists defend, well, and you can talk about other countries as well, but I know you're from Brazil. When feminists defend women's sex-based rights, we're accused of being aligned with or even funded by the religious right wing. Is this a new thing or have we seen it with other issues? And do you see it in Brazil? Well, uh, I guess I have to, to give some, some terrain of what's happening here because um, in Brazil, we had uh, 30, 30, 30, 13 years of very progressive government, but they were very uh, pity, right? Lula, uh, there was a time in Brazil that everything seemed to work nice and social politics happening and people going to universities on large numbers and that ended of course that we all know but uh the left in brazil were always centrists they are not radicals they are always working with the right when the left work with the right they call it a strategy they call it uh something that need to be done in the congress to get to get laws to pass, they have to work with the right. But when we, women do it, we are accused of betrayal, right? But uh, it's like Miriam said, the difference is now that it's coming from within the left, like self-identifying feminists always talking about we are, that uh, some feminists are, are colluding with the right, but we are not even working with them. We are not uh, being elected by the parties. It's not something that is really happening. It's something we we need to to uh, I don't know. Uh, there's too much. Uh, some feminists spend too much time uh, pointing fingers, accusing women of of being right wingers what it seems to be happening like miriam said is that it's just uh, it's not a descriptive anymore it's just an insult it's like when they call us fascist uh when fascism is right be right in front of them they can recognize it's just a slur it's just um it's just a way to to uh to prevent us from working in any way uh, it's just uh, so, so we spend too much time wasting time. Yeah, and uh, Fabian, sometimes um, it, feminists and and people say that it's better to be allied with the left uh, morally or politically. Um, do you find that it's it, it, and is your experience with feminists that they're generally a bit better being linked to the left or or really n not such that? I don't think any radical feminist is against the left in, in their economically politics. In uh, historically, uh, left wing uh, social social justice were just. Uh, the left wing is known for the, this social, social justice fight historically, right? But uh, some positions in the spectrum, in the political spectrum, uh, they, the both sides defended historically uh, uh, some things that were considered today the opposite side, like uh, classic liberals fighting for for freedom or the Stalinist, Stalinist ban on the abortion laws on USSR uh, when they needed manpower when they need people to work they they just no no abortion anymore and in Brazil our labor party is very centrist so uh, it's uh, uh, left and right are very uh, very conjunctural positions. They depend on the time and, and the space that the politics are happening. So in, in uh, Brazil, when... also, uh, Fabian, in Brazil, do you have uh, some feminists who criticize radical feminists for not for not working with the left or, you know, we have, do, even do you have that radical debate? feminists criticizing radical feminists with not for not working with the, the left because some radical feminists 
they are linked to parties. And I, I guess they are right in some points to say that women need to occupy the politics, the, the institutions, the, the chairs, the positions, the funds. We need to, to, to get more women in the institutional politics. But, it's, but the, the left is not our, own, our only way to do it. Uh, we, we need any, many ways to do politics, not just with political parties. But uh, when, when they are away from, from the social, social justice for women, they are moving away in this spectrum, in this politi political spectrum. They are not defending women, so they are not, they are the ones playing right, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, are, we are just defending our, our grounds. We are not, we are not, wanting to kill anyone it's just uh, but the the mo the thing that 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 drives us nuts is is this this uh this thing that they work with the right at any time uh and on congress is just uh sometimes you don't know where the sides are because they def they are working together to to make things function in the country, but when women need this this strategical uh, way to act politically, we we just can't. We are we are sometimes. Uh, I guess I have a list here with some some recent facts from Brazilian politics. Can I can I say? Hey, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Very very quick. Uh, every bill proposing the maintenance of sex category. Category, categories in sports were created by conservative congressmen. They are legitimately concerned with this matter. Uh, it obviously, obviously affects women, but of course, if we we say, "Oh, let's let's support this bill," we are called a fundamentalist. But we're we're um, we're defending a bill, not a guy, not a. <laughs> it's just a bill. It's not some some uh, working together with the right. Uh, every bill proposing that women should share their bathrooms wards with men in frocks were proposed by left-wing politicians like Eduardo Suplicy, David Miranda, uh, Jean Willis. Uh, Jean Willis became some kind of hero of democracy because he fled the country. Uh, but he he is the guy proposing that women should be should be should be selling themselves to prostitution or a bill on gender identity. Um, so every time the left start to talk about women, they talk about in this in this horrible way. Uh, some religious leaders even have been supporting this trans child issue, like. Uh, Catholic priests, sometimes evangelical priests. There's a, a trans evangelical priest, trans activist, Alexia Salvador, that is uh, that he adopted two child, two children, and the, both are trans child. Well, uh, there's bills proposing to punishment from buying women in prostitution, and it was all also proposed by a right winger. Uh, and sometimes the left are spreading fake news, something that, that the, the right wing sometimes do here, uh, the, the extremists. But uh, sometimes the left say things like this trans genocide thing that is, it's fake news. If you, if you read their own dossiers or something like that, the, their, their, their reports, you will see that there, there is nothing like this happening. And ah, uh, the only bill stating that female bathrooms should be protected in schools was proposed by a, a conservative polit politician. So uh, every time the left tries to do something that women are uh, related, they are including men, they are uh, erasing the biological right reality, uh, so uh, how can we trust the, the left if they, they are selling or selling us to pimps and to uh, and putting us on vulnerable positions? I don't know 
if we can trust them. There's some aspect of, of the political process in Brazil that we can, we can just get close to, to uh, very, uh, really women's focused politics. Like uh, we can, uh, women struggle to barely occupy the 30% mandatory chairs reserved for the opposite sex. It's not a women's quota. And even in, in when women can get to the parties, they are vampirized. Their time and, and energy are, are used to work on other things. Uh, Any time women try to, to talk about themselves, they are very completely disencouraged. Um, in 2018 elections, the last one, we put a small group online to talk about uh, candidates, to, to list candidates that we can vote. And we, ha we, we put three criteria. Criterias. Uh, the candidate must be pro-abortion, anti-sexual exploitation, and anti-gender identity. It was an impossible text. We just can't find any. We just couldn't find any politician that that really that were really compromised with women, and um, and we don't need the, the political parties to do politics. In fact, we need we need to organize. We need to. To, to create communities with our neighborhoods and, and non-governmental -govern uh, organizations and artistic collectives. Uh, even feminists, feminism came from, from this need to, to, to bring politics to the daily life, right? Uh, we don't need the political parties. We just need to work together. Sometimes in small groups, we can do the difference. Here in the Women's Declaration, we have, I don't know, six, seven women and we work and we're working uh, on the last three months and it's great. We can, we don't need that much people to, to, to work with. We have to demand the fidelity of the left if we need to, if, if we need them to work with us because we made 50% of the votes we have the power to elect people sometimes. We just need to organize. We just need to, to, to demand the left that, because if, if the left don't, 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 um, don't get women issues right, we don't, we, are, we have no, no responsibility. We have no, no fidelity to, to give them. I don't know, we don't. We are not obligated to do anything they want because they are not doing anything to us.